you are welcome to online university ramdas this is saif amarvi today i'm going to discuss how you can write your native language on the pictures this is very useful in the creating the thumbnails for your videos you can make in this way the video photos for the facebook or twitter pages so to learn how you can write some quotations in your native language on the different pictures must watch this video and and share our network to your friends to help them and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel let us start our today's tutorial i hope you will have the adobe photoshop even a simple version if you don't you will have to download it from the google or from some other source please double click on the icon of the photoshop this is the photoshop interference now you will have to add a photo so you will go to file and new or open you can press the control plus o key this screen will be open on your system so select picture from here that you want to write on which let's see i'm selecting this one this picture is opened in the interference or working area of the adobe photoshop to write on the picture something in your native language or some simple editing you need know to have a advanced uh, software you can use the adobe photoshop 7 point which is simple and easier now to right uh, over the picture you will have your uh, software which is uh, which is used to write your native language such as microsoft word writes in english and you will have to use the software which writes your native language if you are living in the arabic or some persian country you can use the in page Let us suppose you live in the Pakistan. You will write to, uh, you will write uh, on the pictures in Urdu. You should have this software. This software is used uh, to write in Arabic, Persian, and Urdu. Double click on it. This is opening. This is the screen of the in page. will be shown on your screen now now like word you have to a new page so click here new this message will be shown in, in this you will have to set your margins or not you just leave it and press okay this is the screen or interference working area provided by the inter in page your cursor is blinking here you can write here no something that you want if you are living in the chinese countries or other you will have to use the software which uh, are able to write your native language on the computer i'm going to write something here Let's see. I have written here for Pakistan. Now I'm going to resize it. You should just select it, and now from here, like the word, you can choose your size as you want. That I'm here. Now I will have to move it in the center of the screen. 
so cursor should be at the one edge this is necessary for editing now click on press the print screen button which is nearer to the backspace key on the, your keyboard you will have to press it for once after pressing the print screen key you will have to go to your adobe photoshop here you will have to open a new screen you will have to press just control n by pressing control n this screen will be shown this is the length width height and resolution here you will have to press just ok this is the new screen is open now and this screen you will have to press just control v for pasting your screen is pasted over here now you can cut here this i'm going to tell you that how you can cut this word or this quotation and paste it on your picture on which you want here a button is shown here on your toolbar that is crop tool you will have to select it and then move here and crop this word and press enter your word has been printed out of the whole picture now you will go here in the title bars uh, or in your sorry not on the title bar just go on the select key which is in the ribbon and here you will have to select the color range this will be shown on your screen press uh, here and select the shadows because it is written in the black and white form so your word has been selected now press the control C for copy and now move to your picture On reaching on your picture you will have to press control V this word has been copied here in your native language now select the move tool from the toolbar and here the edges will be shown the picture now you can uh, place it on your desired place on your picture you can change its styles or colors by clicking over here you can see the word has been changed there cloudy you can choose a desired style or color from here you can see everything is changed this is the whole process now please adjust your written quotation on your picture and then plus control s for saving it select your desired place and give here your desired name and select here the gpag this is the images extension and press on the save key your image will be saved with this quotation in your native language so this is the whole process please subscribe our youtube channel visit our websites join us on the facebook and follow us on the twitter all links are given in the description Thanks for watching.